Then this is the upper name. And this straight line, okay, and this is a straight line, the line pass through minus two, three, and one, nine. Draw the straight line of the equation. First part. Okay, let me draw a straight line equation. So this time, you may need a graph paper, otherwise you just use your free hand to draw the graph paper, right? So I will try to get the paper. I think I have a paper from there. So minus two, three, and one, nine. So this is a graph paper here. Okay, so I try to plot the point. Minus two and three, where are they? So minus two and three is this one, this point. X equal to minus two. Y equal to three. Okay, so let me record this lesson also. Okay, and just in case you need recording. Okay, because some, not all people are here. So, uh, okay, this is recorded now. It's good. So, let me also see more settings. Is correct or not? Okay, correct. All, all the settings are looks correct here. So, I have a point minus two, three. First point given to you. Okay, first point is minus two, three. So, And then another point is one nine. So one nine. So go to the graph paper. Where is one and nine? Okay, one is somewhere here. One, and go up all the way to nine. Okay. So this is two three, and this is one nine. So these two points were enough to give you a straight line. So you can join. These two point together. Okay, so I need to put together a straight line. Okay, so let's try again. Okay, this is a straight line. And this line, what is the equation of this line later on? We are write down. Okay, so this is a straight line, draw the graph or straight line. So you know well how to get one nine and minus two three, right? So let's go try them together. So this is the first part. Okay, so if you don't have a graph paper, then you just draw by hand. Huh? Then by draw by hand, you, you don't get a very quick, a great answer. Okay, part B. Find the gradient and y intercept of the line. So gradient is m. Okay, gradient is m and uh, y intercept c, right? So can you find the gradient? How to find the gradient? Okay, we have a, a situation formula to find the gradient, right? Gradient formula. Okay, let's try that now. Gradient formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So you have two points. Okay, one point is minus 2, 3, minus 2, 3. The other point is 1, 9. So this is your x1, y1. And this is your x2, y2. So you put in the formula, y2 is 9, y1 is 3, x2 is 1, x1 is minus 2. So this will give you 6 over 3, which is 2. So the gradient is equal to 2, right? This is, the name for this is called gradient. Okay, gradient. Gradient is 2. Now how to find the y-intercept? Okay, y-intercept is where the straight line cut the x-axis, right? Y-intercept is C here. This is actually when the graph 
go in a straight line. I want to curve here. Cut the y axis. Also, when x equals zero, okay, cut the y axis, or also same thing as when x equals zero. And put x equals zero, you can find the y intercept here. So this is called the y intercept here. Right, y intercept here. So in this case, you can go to the graph and see when you cut the y axis. this. Okay, you can see from here, it cut around. My my graph is not very accurate. Huh? I think based on the answer in your book there. Okay, first answer in the book, I think it's cut around seven. Okay, so my graph is not very accurate. If you draw an accurate straight line, you should be cutting the graph at around seven. So question one, answer is actually around seven, right? Yeah, so it's around seven. So my graph is not very accurate here. It should be somewhere here. If I draw it accurate here, okay, it's somewhere here. Okay, so let me erase this one. All right, so we cut around seven here. So this point, this is y intercept here. C equals seven, which is called a y intercept. Okay, so this is actually from here to here. This seven here. Okay, so we have answer part B of the question. Okay, find the gradient intercept. So we find that the answer is seven from the graph. Okay, find the value of a constant M and C. So M is equal to actually two, C equal to what, uh, seven, right? So actually all answer together already. So C is equal to seven, M equal to two. So what is the equation now? The equation is Y equal to MX plus C. So this is Y equal to MX plus C. So for Y, M equal to two now. So M equal to two now, so you get M equal to two, so this is uh, C equal to seven. So this line here is have this equation. Okay. So usually you want to extend the line also. Don't just stop here. So this extend the line. This extend the line here. Okay, y equal to x plus 7 is the equation of a line. So do we answer that already? So what happened? Find the value of m and c. From the graph, find the value of y when x equal to minus 1. What is the value of y when x equal to minus 1? Okay, you can get it from the graph also. Okay, from the graph also. When x equal to minus 1, where is my y now? So minus one is here. When x equal to minus one, then you go up and look for your y. Okay, you can y I think is five. From here you can y equal five here. So when x equal to minus one, y equal to five. Okay, so the answer for this is when x equal to minus one y answer y equal to five okay y equal to five here of course you can do a calculation how to do calculation so y equal to two x plus seven when x equal to minus one then what you get 
Okay, when x equal to minus 1, you can do calculation here. y equal to 2 times minus 1 plus 7, you get 5. Right, so also yeah, calculation, but you can also get the graph, go up and find that, oh, this is the point here, 5. Okay, so this is how we answer question 1. Okay, so I can WhatsApp to you to answer, right? WhatsApp to you to answer here. So this is the first part, calculation. Okay, first part is calculation here. So calculation. Then the second part is the graph. Okay, so uh, this is question one. I see any message uh, there? No, no message there. Okay, fine. So, so I'm done with question one. So now look at question two. I don't need to do question two, I think. Just tell you, you can do it yourself. So y equals a plus bx to the point two minus one, seven minus six, right? So this is actually uh, similar to the question one. Question one, you get y equal to mx plus c. So now we get y equal a plus bx here, which is actually bx plus a. Okay, so what is b now? b is actually your m here, so this is called a gradient. Gradient is, gradient is b now, huh? gradient is b. And then the A here is like your C here, is Y intercept. Okay, so you find according to the method in such question one. Okay, then you can do all the similar calculation and actually check your answer, right? So when you do the finished calculation, you check the answer. Answer is on page 327. Okay. Answer in page 327. Okay. So, okay. Answer is on page 327 for question 2. So, I will not do question 2 for you. Question 1 is very similar to question 1. Okay, but I will do question three for you. Question three, right? Question three for you. I'll do question three for you. Actually, three A, huh? Do a three A for you. Then you can try to do three B. Solve the simultaneous equation graphically. So what does it mean? Right? When it's saying people ask you to solve the simultaneous equation, basically it's fine. The meaning of solving is find the intersection. Find the intersection. Okay. Why is it find the intersection? Because there are two straight lines there. Okay. So you have to write down the straight line and then form a table. Okay. So let's try. The first equation, equation one, equation two. Okay, 3x plus 2y equal 1, 2x minus y equal 3. Equation 1, equation one what you're going to do is try to write into y equal mx plus c, right? Convert to y equal to mx plus c first. So the first equation, okay, the first equation you have 3x plus 2y equal to 1, 
So from there, you get two y equal to y minus three x here. Divide by two, you get half minus three over two x. So this is actually minus three over two x plus half. It's the first equation, right? Second equation, convert them. 2x minus y equal 3. Try to write them y in first place first. So, minus y equal 3 minus 2x here. Divide by minus 1. You get y equal to minus 3 plus 2x here. So, this is 2x minus 3. Okay, so you have two equations. Okay, so when you have two equations, of course, you want to make a table now. So let's try to make a table from here. Okay. How do you get a table? Because you have two straight lines. To draw a graph, okay, you need a table. Okay, how to make a table from here. So let's see, I have a graph paper here. No, I don't have graph paper here. Let me, then I do some table first. So I make a table first. I need at least three point. Why I need three point here? Basically draw a straight line, you need two point only. So I need three point because I make sure that I already got a straight line. X here. The first one is y equal to minus three over two x plus half. Okay, the second line is y equal to two x minus three. So I need three point, okay? The third point is just for insurance. Make sure that I already got a straight line. If you find something strange, then you know some make some error calculation. So let's try to find the three point. So I'm gonna put x equal to minus two first. Just uh, for our example, just space them enough. So okay. Three point. Okay, just to make sure that you space out the point. So in this case, I put minus two, zero, and two. Okay, for example, you can put any three point. Put x go minus two now. So what happened to the y first y? When x equal to minus two, so this is actually y equal to minus three over two. Times minus two plus half. Okay, from here, you can find that this is actually uh, 6 over 2 is 3, 3 plus half is 3.5. So this is actually 3.5 here. So let me give me more space here. So this is 3.5. So when x is equal to 0, let me expand a bit, a bit, give me more space. Okay, small space here. Okay, when x go to zero, uh, y equal to half, right? Minus three over two times zero plus half, so equal to point five here. When x equal to two, the so y equal to minus three over two times two plus half, become minus three plus half, get okay, minus two point five. 
So this for the first line. Okay, first line. So I make use of this to make a table. Okay, so make a table for first line, right? So I have x equal to y first line minus three over two times x plus half first line right so this is minus two zero and then two and the value of y is minus three point five and then one five and okay then this one is what minus 2.5 am i correct so make sure that i got this one okay 3.5 and then minus 2.5 so the first one is 3.5 so there's 3.5 here okay no one is so strange so let's draw the graph, uh, but I didn't need to make sure that I get enough space when I do, do the second calculation. So second calculation here. So that y equal to x minus 3, right? So the y equal to minus 2, you get 2 times minus 2, minus 3, you get Minus six, minus three, and minus nine. Oh, so sorry, minus four, minus three, minus seven. Okay, it's minus seven here. The next equal is zero. Y equal two times zero, minus three, and minus three now. When x equal two, y equal two times two, minus three, you get one. So we get minus seven, minus three, one. This is for two x minus three. So y equal to x minus three here. I find that this is minus seven. Okay, minus seven, and then minus three, and then minus one. So now I have all this value early now I must draw the graph so draw the graph here I mean uh, graph paper so I have going to draw my graph paper now by hand so is so in this case this will not be very accurate here because the calculate is drawing by hand now so let me say this is zero here x-axis the y-axis here so x for minus 2 so I have this uh, minus 2 here say 0 and 2 okay so I need 3 point for y okay first one is minus 2 3.5 so let me say Two, three, three point five. Okay, two point five is somewhere here. Yeah. So this is minus two, three point five. And then, okay, I'm looking at this one now. Minus two, three point five. And then, zero, zero point five. So. There's another point here. So lower zero point five, so you get uh, here. So this is zero, zero point five. Okay, there another point. Two and minus two point five. So this one is two and minus two point five. You get okay, minus one. Minus one here, minus two, 
minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7. So 2.5 is somewhere here now. So this one is 2 minus 2.5. Okay, minus 1, minus 2. Okay, minus 2.5. So be careful when you do this because then you can check whether you got the correct point. So 2.5 is actually down here. Okay, so it's minus 2, 2 and minus 2.5 is already down here. Okay, then you see whether you got a straight line. Because you need three point, it actually you need two point to get a straight line. But now I get three point because I want to make sure that I did not make mistake. Okay, if you if you cannot join them by a straight line, something is wrong already. That's why I use three point. So from this three point, I can join them. Okay, so from here to here. Okay, because my hand drawing is not very good, so at least you know that they are straight line. So this is for the first line, then the second line. So same thing now. I can erase this color here. A second line now. So second line is actually the x and y again. So x is minus two, y is minus seven. So x goes minus two, y goes up uh, minus seven. So it's somewhere here now. This is minus two, minus seven. Okay, this is minus two, minus seven. Somewhere here. Okay, not very accurate now. So mark this side lower. And then zero and minus three. So to get zero here and minus three. Zero and minus three is somewhere here. 0, x equals 0, y equals minus 3. Okay. 0, minus 3. And finally, 2 and minus 1. Okay, 2 and minus 1. Okay, 2 minus 1. So somewhere, ah, uh, just somewhere I made mistakes, see? Yeah. No matter, my cup's so strange. Okay, let me call it draw again. Okay, so I made mistake just now. Okay, and you should tell me I made mistake now. This one actually is minus one is here. Minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven. So I made mistake just now. Let's withdraw this again. The scale is not correct, right? So Minus 2.5 is actually here. Just how it was correct, then I made mistake. That's what I thought I wrong. So this is the one here. So that's why when to do hand drawing, but be careful, right? When do hand drawing, be careful here. So otherwise, I made mistake and then miss the point. Okay, so this is the first line. The second line is actually minus two minus seven is here. Okay, minus two minus seven is here, 
and then the lower minus three is here and then two minus one is here so two minus one okay so three point okay three point okay this point this point this point can join them together got a straight line so join them together I have not very accurate uh, two minus one okay I mind so this plus curve is actually not very good here so draw this three point together okay so i think my points are off a little bit here so maybe i try to draw this one off a little bit here okay so this is a second line so where the intersect now the if you intersect them, you find that the point of intersection is somewhere here. So depend on how good is a graph. So my this graph is not a very good graph. Therefore, it's off a little bit here. Okay, the intersection should be. If you check the answer, the answer say that is question three, right? Three A. The answer for question three A is one minus one. So my point is way off. Okay, one minus one. So if you draw accurately, you get a point intersection at okay, intersection at one minus one. So this point here is actually one minus one part by Okay, around here, lah, but one minus one, I think, not too far away. If a cut paper, you should see more clearly. Okay, so this point, this point here is one minus one. Okay, if you cut paper, then you can see more accurately because I hand draw it, so not so accurate now. By the way, in the exam, cut paper will be provided. Okay. This quite this type of question will always ask you how to get a graph. Okay, how to draw the graph. So why the process uh, how to get a graph? First thing you must get an equation. Okay. So from here, you get an equation right first. So there are two equations in this case. So the one, one of them is here. First equation, second equation, and two equations there. From there, you get table. So how many value of x you need there? Basically, you need, you need two value of x. But to make sure that you really get it correctly, I suggest you put one more value there. So that you get three value of x here. Therefore, you also get three value of y for each line. Then you see that whether you already got a straight line, can you join them or not? Okay, if you can join them by a straight line, means something is wrong. You do do a mistake calculation already, right? So make table. So standard equation, then make table. The table usually they, they are give you the range of x here, and then you just fill in the missing value. Then for the middle table, you can make the graph out. I can show people okay how this graph look like. Look for intersection. Okay, so this is the Okay, let me watch this to you. Okay, this question 3A. 3B is similar, so I will not do this for you now. Okay, 3B is similar one. Okay, 
So this is question uh, 3A and 3B or similar, so I'll not do for you. All right. Okay, another question, question four, right? I'll try to do question four for you. Draw the graph of y to x squared minus y plus six. Then use the graph to find minimum point. First one, A. Lowest point. Minimum point means the point you get lowest value of y. So the way to do this is to make a table. But this time you need more point now because this is not a straight line. So this is a quadratic equation. We call it quadratic equation. Okay, it's not a straight line now. This is a the shape is a parabola. We call it shape of parabola. Okay, the shape of graph is a parabola. So just now we were doing it, looking at a straight line, but this is got a square term now. So this is parabola now. So, so we need more point. Okay, so we need more point here. So let's make a table for x and y. So I'm going to make a big, big table here. So x. And y so let's say I start from x equal to minus 2 first then minus 1 then 0 then 1 Two and then three. Okay, I have how many point? Six point. I think it be enough already. So how do you find your y? y is x square minus by x plus six, right? So you can try. So when x equal to minus two, y equal to minus two square. Minus y, minus two, plus six. All right, I use this equation. Y equal x squared plus minus five plus six here. So put x squared minus two inside there. So get four plus ten plus six here. Okay, four plus ten plus six becomes twenty. Okay, x squared minus y times x here, x is minus 2 now. So 2 squared minus 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 10, you get 14 and plus 6. So how about x equal to minus 1? So when x equal to minus 1, so y equal to minus 1 square minus 5 minus 1 plus 6 here. This will give you 1 plus 5 plus 6 is 12. Okay, so this number is 12 here. How about this one? When x equals 0, then y is equal to 0 square minus 5 times 0. Plus six, you get six here. Okay, then next one, when x equal to one, okay, when x equal to one, y equal to one square minus five times one plus six, you get minus four plus six equal to 2. 
then you see what happened when x equal to 2 now. When x equal to 2, y equal to 2 square minus y times 2 plus 6 here. This is 4 minus 10 plus 6 here. You get 0. I need more point. So, when x equal to 3, so, when x equal to 3, you get y equal to 3 square minus 5 times 3 plus 6 here. So, this will give you 9 minus 15 plus 6 you get 0. So one more point. Okay. So when x equal to 4 then y equal to y equal to 4 square minus 5 times 4 plus 6 now. So it's 16 minus 20 minus 4 plus 6 to get 2. Okay, so you make a table of this now. Then afterward, then you can draw the graph. Okay, so you need to draw the graph of this curve, which is called the parabola. Okay, so I will set this table for for you first. Then. Okay, so I copy this table to the next page and then I can draw the graph. Okay, copy this table to this graph here. So we'll be able to have my graph enough. Maybe I have my graph. Let me see if I have a graph here. I don't have a graph here. So I just copy one graph over. Okay, I think copy this graph over here. Okay, so the table I have Okay, let's make a table here so that you can see the table for you. So I have a table of X and Y. I have actually six points here. So I'm going to use a minus one, zero, one, two, three, four, right? In this uh, point, enough already. So Minus one, you get 12. Okay. And then this one is 6 here. And 2, 0, 0, 2. Okay. So let's try to see how to come, right? If x equal to minus 1, y equal to 12. And 12 is too big. Beyond that already. So, am I? I don't have much space to do so. Minus one equal twelve. Okay, zero you get six here. Zero you get six here. Okay, so six minus one you get twelve. But I don't have enough space to 
do this so okay this is actually slow six there yeah. when x equal to one y equal to two x equal to one y equal to two okay this one two when x equal to two y equal to zero Okay, when x equal to 3, y also equal to 0. And x equal to 4, y equal to 2. So you can actually continue to draw the graph if you have more point. So I just join them to get a graph. So the graph of something like this is the curve now. Then it turn. Okay, so this is the graph of y equal to x squared minus y x plus six. Okay, the graph of y go to uh, minus x, x squared to minus five plus six, right? So this is how you get a graph. And what the question asks you is try to get a minimal point of y. So where is the minimal point of y? So roughly it's around here. Roughly around here, minimum point. Minimum y, right? Because if you go down, it doesn't it doesn't go down forever, then you must turn. So this is the minimum of y. And where is it? Somewhere around Two and three, right? So somewhere around about center of two and three. So the when x equal to two point five, and what is y now? I think around okay half of that is uh, minus one quarter. Okay, maybe we minus one minus point five. So okay, minus zero point two five. Okay, and find about 195, which we yeah, actually can check now. Uh, I'm going to look at answer in the book first. Answer say this is uh, minus one quarter. Okay, you can actually do calculation. You can check, okay. I know more or less the x is to go uh, 2.5, right? You can check answer first. For example, check, yeah. Uh, By calculation, y equal to x square minus 5x plus 6 now, put x equal to 2.5. Get 2.5 square minus 5 times 2.5. Now, usually you try to get answer from the graph, but sometimes you want to confirm whether answer is close enough or not. Right. So you want to do calculation. When x equal two point five, then you do calculation two point five square first, then minus five times two point five, then plus six. Sure enough, this is minus one quarter. Right. So that's why you can get the minimum point from here. So this is how to answer the part A. Okay, part A the answer is minus one quarter answer. Okay, what is the minimum value of y is minus one quarter. Okay, so 
And this time, I think the cut paper is necessary, otherwise you can't get the accurate value. So this is the part A. Okay, part A. Then how to do part B? What is the part B all about now? Okay, part B is find the value of x for which x squared minus 2x minus 5 plus 6 equal to 0. Okay, find the value of x for which x squared minus 5 plus 6 equal to 0. So, okay, so you have y squared minus 5 plus 6. So what you do is y squared part B now, y is equal to x squared. Minus by x by six y. So you put y equal to zero now. You get x squared minus by x by six equals zero. So when does this happen? Y equal to zero means where? Y equal to zero means y is equal to zero means it's a horizontal line. So this line here is y equal to zero. So when it cut y equal to zero, there are two points. X equal to two and x equal to three. All right? On the table can actually see that. X equal to two and three. You can actually look at these two points. X equal to two, y equal to zero. X equal to three, y equal to zero. So answer is x equal to two and three. Okay? So this will be x equal to two and three here. So this is how you answer part B. Okay. Okay. X equal to two and three. This is question four. Part B. Okay, so let's see any more message, anybody here? Yeah. So, there are some people not here, no? Accepted by not here. Museum, museum, happened. Online, not there. So, what happened? Okay, so maybe I do one more for you. Okay, last question. So let's look at next one. Okay. Five is similar to the just how I give you, so maybe I don't know this. About six. Okay. Oh, seven, okay. So let's try to do question seven. Draw the graph of y equal to x squared minus two x, y equal to x plus one from minus three to five. Okay, they give you that range there, so you don't need to guess. Minus three to five. Okay, 
you know, I have draw two graph. Question seven, right? So make a table first. I have to define thing. I have. I can make a table. Pick one. Okay, X here. Okay, Y equal to X square minus two X here. And now one Y equal to X plus one. So I want to get the range from minus three to five, right? So minus three, minus two, Minus one, zero, one, ah, maybe not also good. I mean, less point or two. Let's see, I try less point. So minus one, three, minus one, and then zero, then one, three. Five. So we need to need so many points. Okay, so one, three, five. Okay, that's really five. So we put uh, x equal to minus three first. So they get minus three square, the nine, nine minus two minus three is less nine plus how much there? Six there, 15. Okay, put x square minus one there. Okay, one square plus two is three. When x equal to zero, you get zero here, y equal to zero. When x equal to one, one minus two is minus one there. And then for x equal to three, three square is nine, nine minus six is three. When x equal to five, and yeah, three square, uh, five square twenty five, twenty five minus two, um, x here, twenty five minus ten, you get fifteen. Okay, five, twenty five minus two, um, five, okay, fifteen there. And then for the other y, it's quite easy, straight line. So y equal x plus one. So when x equal to minus three, you get minus two. When x equal to minus one, you get zero. When x equal to zero, you get one. Three pi enough really. Only way you want to do this, you get one plus one is two, uh, three plus one is four, and five plus one is six there. Okay, so I have this table for me. And when from this I use to solve, what does it mean? Use the equation graph to solve. It means to solve means solve means find intersection. Okay, the meaning of solve means find intersection. So I need a graph paper. Okay, I need a graph paper and consider a, a quite a big graph paper for me. So, from minus three to five. So, let me call up some graph paper here. Okay. 
Okay. some copy paper here. Oh. So I'm going to call some copy paper because I think this is a uh, some some uh, paper here. So I want the graph paper from minus three to five. And then, so I mean, I'm going to copy this thing now. Uh, minus three to five. Minus three to five. Y from uh, 15. Two to fifteen. So I have set out the graph paper first. Okay, let me copy this graph paper so that I can draw it here. Okay, so I have got paper now. I can draw it here. So let's fill out the point. So let me show you, copy this one first. The table, question seven. Okay, so seven here. So minus three fifteen and minus three fifteen. Also, do I have that? Okay, minus three fifteen. So somewhere here is the point. So the first curve is. Minus three fifteen here. Minus three fifteen. Right? One point. And then minus two from the minus two. Okay, so so Okay, minus one three. Okay, minus one three. So okay, minus one three somewhere here. One, two, three. Okay, minus one three and then zero, zero. Okay, then the next point one minus one. One minus one, okay. Uh no I'm not fine, okay. One minus one. Let me miss out. One minus one. Okay. One minus one. Three, 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 and then five, fifteen. So five, fifteen here. Yeah. So this is the first graph. Okay. So this is the first graph. I think this is can join them. 
so from here to here okay it looks like you see it will be something like this is going down further somewhere here to Okay, this is a graph and not very accurate, but at least uh, it looks something like this. I think it's, it's not quite correct. No, it wasn't quite correct here. Yeah. Let me try again. I think something like this. something like this uh -huh. so okay let's do some more reasonable okay then what we will answer now this is the first graph right second graph is a straight line okay y equal to x plus one so we need three point only so for example we get a uh, minus 3, minus 2, right? minus 3, minus 2 okay, minus 3, minus 2 first and minus 1, 0 minus 3 minus 2, not enough okay, minus 3, minus 2 it's actually not enough, minus 1, 0 minus 1, 0 is a straight it's a point here okay minus 1, 0 then Need another point 0 1 okay 0 1 0 1 somewhere here and then finally just get one more, one more point uh, minus 1 2 sorry 0 1 so I actually looking for this one Minus one zero zero one one two okay so one two here so one and two straight line so now to draw these three point enough already Okay, so there's three. There actually, this is a y equal to x plus one. This one is y equal to x square minus two x. So where are the intersection? The intersection in this case you can find from here. This is the point in the intersection here, and our point is here. So this is question seven. If you if your graph is accurate enough, then you can see answer clearly. Okay. So let's check the answer. The question seven, right? Based on the answer for the book there. Okay, question seven is minus point three and zero point seven. Okay, I think more or less correct. Okay, close enough. So this is minus point three and zero point seven. Okay, minus point three zero point seven. And then one is three point three. Is it correct? Okay, around correct here. Yeah. Three point three. And the y value is five by something or one more five or something, right? Four point three. I think not quite accurate here. Um, the answer is four point three. So mine is actually off a little bit here. So it's below, right? Okay. 
So this one, if you draw a curve value, you should be able to get a 0 0.4, 0 0.3. Huh? So cut paper is very important, how to draw the cut. So this is actually how to answer question seven. Okay, so I will stop the lesson today. Okay, I know there are some people absent today. Afterward, I will stop I'll stop video here. Okay, stop recording.